the Lord had me reviewing uh, a number of dreams that he's given me over the last month or so um, and they're all involving animals um, in the dream uh, in these warning dreams and of course animals represent uh, certain things in um, both scripture and in dream interpretation uh, so I'm, I'm pulling from several sources um, uh, in some of these interpretations but um, I, I see in this time that we're to walk carefully before the Lord were to to be watchful and alert um, that the Lord was trying to uh, warn us about certain things certain types of people certain types of uh, events that the enemy uh, would be bringing uh, into our lives across our path to be aware of those things um, so on December 26th I dreamed that I was on a, a, a roadway a, a, a pathway a highway in a, a bus of some type but it was open-sided kind of like you would see in Africa on a safari uh, where the the sides are open but in this case there was just one side open and I was with a group of people and animals uh, on the path kept trying to uh, stick their heads in uh, one horse <laughs> licked me uh, uh, a dog at, at one point jumped in through the window and and I knew he didn't belong there as much as I love dogs uh, so I, I, I tossed him back out the window um, uh, so uh, I, I pondered that uh, Lord, uh, you know, what, what are you speaking? And a bus represents uh, a group of people, a church group typically, a ministry group, uh, as opposed to an individual, as you would see in, a, in an automobile or a vehicle. Um, a dog in scripture often indicates and represents unclean and impure um, people and people that have a love of gain. Uh, a horse represents power of the flesh um, when it's used in, in uh, a negative sense or a, a warning type sense. So, so we see here in operation uh, the flesh. Uh, we see people that might be coming across our path uh, wanting to join themselves with us, uh, go along for the ride, uh, try to impose themselves uh, upon us on the journey that the Lord has us on uh, but they have impure motives um, they 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 have unclean uh, thoughts and practices um, uh, their hearts have a love of gain uh, a love of money you know money's not bad but the love of money is certainly bad then on January 6th uh, I had a dream that I was on walking on a path and it was the only path that I was able to walk on and stretched out along this path was a lion uh, it was a female it was a lioness because it didn't have the mane uh, and it was stretched out sound asleep uh, but I didn't want to disturb it so I was walking uh, with great fear and trepidation very carefully past this lioness uh, not wanting to disturb it uh, and of course a lion uh, unless we're talking about the lion of Judah the tribe of Judah uh, a lion uh, indicates a devourer uh, uh, an intimidation of some sort um, so again uh, look for situations where um, uh, somebody or a circumstance uh, is bringing intimidation uh, into your life uh, fear in, in, into your life um, anxiety into your life through intimidation uh, this is not of God then on January the 10th uh, the, the Lord said the word starling which I knew was a type of bird or a category of bird uh, and so as I started meditating on it uh, I, I had the thought mina bird and that is a type of starling and it's interesting that uh, a mina bird is noisy rude very aggressive tries to take what belongs to another bird 
uh, uh, robs its nest, kills its young, uh, tries to take over by force uh, uh, another bird's uh, nest and territory. And once it's established, then it brings in its buddies, its friends, uh, and, and just takes over that territory. Uh, so, so beware of uh, situations where someone or something or a circumstance uh, is attempting or trying to set you up uh, to, to steal that which belongs to you, that which is your birthright, your inheritance, your children's inheritance, um, that which, which is not theirs, forcefully, uh, rudely, with, with great noise and fanfare. Uh, be, be, be aware, be on the alert for this. Uh, and then February the 3rd, uh, and I recorded a little bit of this dream in a short uh, uh, a day or two ago, but I had a dream that I was in a forest, a wood wooded area with a group of people, and they were just families. There were dogs, there were children, uh, just families. Um, but I knew that, that ravenous wolves, that a pack of wolves uh, were surrounding us. They weren't in sight yet. They were still in the forest, uh, but they were coming. They were creeping up on us, and I kept trying to herd uh, the people to a safe place where we could defend ourselves. Uh, and and take out the wolves even and uh, I kept moving this this group of people as I knew the pack of wolves was drawing closer and finally I saw uh, a, a raised platform uh, 20 feet in the air um, and and there was a ladder so we all of the people and the dogs interestingly uh, went up this the steep steep vertical ladder to a platform or a high place um, where we were safe and where the wolves couldn't reach us. Well, in scripture, uh, a wolf uh, is also a devourer. Uh, wolves travel in packs and uh, they don't have good intentions. They too are trying to, to take what belongs to you and they are often uh, uh, associated, this is in dreams, with uh, financial loss. Uh, so I knew uh, or I felt the Lord because that morning when I uh, uh, awoke and started pondering this dream, uh, the Lord immediately had me pray about some of the investments that I've made for the protection uh, of what he called triggers. Um, and I recorded this in a short, I won't go into it again, but, uh, but wolves, you know, there, there are multiple facets of warning in this, you know, wolves in sheep's clothing, uh, those who are in leadership over us, your, your churches, um, uh, your businesses, uh, anything that you're involved in, uh, where leadership is not as it appears, uh, where the intents of the heart are, are not what uh, they should be. Uh, so we need great discernment uh, in this time in which we live. Uh, and, and so how do we protect ourselves? Well, we draw closer to the Lord. We draw closer to the Lord. Um, several scriptures the Lord quickened. Uh, one of the foremost ones was the highway of holiness that Isaiah 35 talks about. Uh, it says in Isaiah 35 that um, a highway will be there, a roadway, and it will be called the highway of holiness. The unclean will not travel on it, but it will be for him who walks that way and fools will not wander on it. No lion will be there, nor will any vicious beast go up on it. But the redeemed will walk there, the ransomed of the Lord, and they will come with joyful shouting. So this, so holiness and purity um, uh, and intimacy with the Lord. And then Revelation 22, 14 and 15 says, Blessed are those who wash their robes, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter by the gates into the city. Outside are the dogs and the sorcerers and the immoral persons and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices lying. So we want to be walking on that highway of holiness. And, and probably the scripture that the Lord keeps bringing back over and over is Ephesians 5, 15 through 17. And it says, therefore be careful how you walk. Look 
carefully. Not as unwise men, but as wise men, making the most of your time because the days are evil. So then do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. So we don't want to be like the foolish virgins who fell asleep and didn't prepare uh, didn't do what the Lord had quickened for them to do. Uh, didn't get oil for their lamps. They weren't prepared. Um, we, we don't want to be foolish, but we want to walk in the wisdom of the Lord in these days, looking carefully where we're walking, waiting upon the Lord. Uh, Proverbs 3, 5 says, Trusting the Lord with all of your heart, leaning not unto your own understanding, but in all of your ways acknowledge Him and he will direct your steps. In Jesus' name, so be it. Amen.